this guy. Whoa. Look at this, look at this chunk here. Look at this guy. This is a huge mud snake. Look at this. Look at this guy. Wow. Wow. He's kind of swirling, but man, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Do I feel him biting me or what? Look at that. Woo! What a freaking beauty. And look where it came from. This ditch right here. Came right from this ditch. And I was going down the road and I saw it right on the edge of the road right here. So, now while this isn't a lifer, this is a lifer big mud snake. I've never found one this big, not even close. I think I found one that uh, was hit by a car one time. But this is a monster. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is such a huge snake. I mean, look at this guy. Hang on, just hang on. If we can just get you to calm down just a little bit. Look at that belly. Look how thick that snake is. Look at that beautiful belly. Justin Trim, look how shy the head is, just sticking its head away. Really awesome snake. This is as big as they get. I just want you to see the girth on this mud snake. I mean, look at that. That is every bit as thick as an indigo snake. Every bit as shiny as an indigo snake. Look at that beauty. He's probably about four feet long, but man, the girth is what's so impressive. He's also got a sharp tail that he's poking into me and this beautiful yellow chin right there. Look at that. I've only really found uh, small ones and deceased ones here in South Carolina, but look at this guy. It is just an outstanding snake. Unfortunately, we're just getting started and we gotta go let this guy go back into the swamp where it came from. But, first snake of June, so happy we got this. Looking forward to having a good month. We should be here all 31 days or 30 days, whatever June is. Anyway, let's go. that massive head. <laughs> Alright, you are free, baby. You're free. Come on. Well, I guess she's just going to sit there for a minute. She'll probably break loose in just a second. And before I knew it, this guy was staring at me. And he said, What's the catch? Is this mud snake? You ever seen one? He said no. And then he started telling me about the rattlesnakes and cottonmouths that came to his house. And just like that, the mud snake was gone. Every I see is a in this one. But before you go, here are a few interesting facts about mud snakes. Mud snakes can be found in 15 states. Do they live in your state? Mud snakes are highly aquatic. They spend a lot of time in slow moving streams and swamps. Mud snakes eat mostly aquatic amphibians like amphiumas and sirens, which some folks call ditch eels. Mud snakes are often called hoop snakes because they will bite their tails and roll after people. And sometimes they can be trained to play useful games. Mud snakes lay large clutches of eggs. And the super tiny hatchlings eat tadpoles and pollywogs. Mud snakes are common snakes. They're just not commonly seen. 